My name's Kenny Johnson. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Uh, Paul Daly's wrestling coach. Paul's wrestling's come along. It's come a long way in the last 12 months. Has come further than in the first three years I've been with him, or two years. So I think he's, um, you know, Paul's a, an unbelievable striker, so he can rely a lot on the striking. And I think as he got uh, involved in, especially when he got into the UFC and found better wrestlers. But I think in the last 12 months, we, you know, I've, this is the third time I've been out to England, and uh, we've been really focusing on it. And, and he's taking it a lot more serious because he knows his striking is up high. He's really taking uh, his jiu-jitsu serious and his wrestling as well. So you can really see a, a vast improvement in the last 12 months. You know, as a striker, he doesn't want to be on his back. So he's been working his jiu-jitsu for the case he gets on his back so we can get out, work some submissions. But we want to stop that. We want to control where the fight goes. So we're working on stuffing all takedowns so we can either take his back and work from a mounted position or from, a, from taking the back or hooks and whatever he wants to do. Or he can stop the takedown and bring him back to the feet and utilize probably the strongest part of his game, which is his striking. I would like to see it come out, punch him three or four times, kick him and knock him out because that's, that, that's a realistic situation. I think that if the guy tries to take him down, I don't think he's going to be ready for Paul's defense, and I think he might just get knocked out. I think it's fantastic to take an organization that's uh, you know organized, that has some financial backing, that can get the best fighters, you know, not just in, in Britain but in the world, and put them on a stage that people can see. Uh, it brings more notoriety not only to the to the MMA fans, but to people that aren't involved in MMA that might want to get involved in MMA. It um, Bama has a platform for a lot of these great fighters that there wouldn't necessarily be. So you wouldn't see a lot of these guys. They'd be the guys you only the hardcore fans know about or people that train with the guys know. But this way you're able to bring it to the masses. You're able to grow the sport. And, and by growing the sport, not only for the fans, but you know what really is important is to the kids to find role models, to find other outlets and maybe a sport they didn't know they could compete in. Now they see it on TV, just like they see soccer, American football, baseball, basketball, hockey. You know, there's another outlet, especially from someone that's coming from a jiu-jitsu, wrestling, Muay Thai, there's really not a lot. And so to see uh, mixed martial arts grow and have an organization that can, that can really um, make a good push behind it and have a platform with TV, with presence, with live events, I think it's only 100% help grow the sport and I'm, I really support it, so I appreciate it and thank them very much for it. This is Paul's grip strength training right here. This is a nail, no trick. Here, that's Shirai's neck. I'm gonna give this to Paul, you can give him to him at the weigh-ins. And this is his neck right here. <laughs> 